Welcome back to the channel folks, Mr. H here and we are going to be taking a look at the Avengers Endgame Super Bowl teaser trailer. Now let's break it down, let's take a look and hopefully point out some bits of info you missed here and there. So straight off the bat actually, it opens with everyone that vanished in the decimation, in the snappening. So I think a lot of people may have overlooked this, it's really a blink and you'll miss it moment. But it sets the tone for the trailer. We open with the Wasp, Evangeline Lilly's character. We again just see a very, it's a split second of Nick Fury. We see Spider-Man. We then flash cut to Doctor Strange. We see Falcon. We then see the Scarlet Witch. And then from there, I guess they kind of messed this up a little bit because Rocket Raccoon is actually in there, which again, Somewhat of a little bit of a mishap because obviously we know that Rocket is alive, but the other disappeared anyway. We then see Black Panther, of course. We see the Winter Soldier and then we also see Vision. It is interesting, like I say, that out of everyone that they had showed, the only one that is still there and is still actually alive is Rocket Raccoon. I don't know whether this was an intentional mishap. Maybe he is a key to something in this story, in this in this movie, but I do find it strange that Marvel seem to have included everyone else that is gone, but Rocket Raccoon is still alive in the uh, in the snapping. So straight into it, we see a skyline, we see some pan shots of New York City. This is to depict just how the world is coming to terms with everyone being gone, or at least half the world having disappeared. We see boats strewn all over the place, cars. There's debris everywhere, and it's really setting a somber tone for this teaser trailer. Now, again, following up with that very, very somber tone, we see what can be presumed to be a support group with a poster that states, where do we go now that they're gone? And of course, obviously, this is all about the people that have disappeared. It's interesting to see how the world is coping with this. I would imagine this is some time after. I mean, obviously, they fabricated a poster. Now, of course, this poster could be something just to do with death and mourning and, and such like that. But it is interesting to see that they've, they have opened up support groups. And in that support group is none other than Captain America. Now, of course, he isn't actually leading this support group, which you'd think he probably would because he, you know, has gone through so much in his life. You'd think he'd probably be one of these ones leading it, but he's not. He's just a member. He's looking very stern. He doesn't look very happy with the current situation. And I would presume this is part and parcel of him eventually going forth, finding the remaining Avengers, and of course, executing the plan that they have in the film moving forwards. But again, it could be wrong. It's just one of those things that if you look at his face and the way that he is emoting here and there, I would imagine that this is him maybe falling on hard times mentally, going into these support groups, and then finding the motivation and the dedication to don the suit again and become Captain America. From here, we cut to a great shot of Tony Stark and Nebula. Now, interestingly here, it looks quite, I guess you could say quite early on in the film. I mean, they are still aboard the ship. They are still in space. So it has to be relatively early on in the film. They're working on something, whether they are working on the ship or a suit of some kind, who knows? I can't imagine that they would spend too much time working on the suit. I'd imagine, more than anything, their priority is to get the ship fixed, working, ready to go, and to get them back home. Now, it also looks like Nebula is, in fact, working on her own left arm, the one with the more integrated cybernetics. Again, could be wrong here, but it does look like it. Now, I guess what we're going to see here is Nebula almost completing the character arc that we have been seeing her go through. Essentially, she was some psychotic assassin looking for her father's approval, looking for love, this sort of thing, and now is actually integrated herself into a group and is helping people. I think this is probably what we're going to be seeing here is Nebula come to the end of her character arc there. We then also get to see a great shot of all of the Avengers or all of the remaining Avengers anyway. We see Bruce Banner, Captain America, we see Black Widow and we also see Rhodey. They're outside the Avengers headquarters looking up. Now what they're looking up at, who knows, it's more than likely 
uh, due to the fact that they're all semi-assembled. It's highly likely that it is going to be Iron Man returning. I can't imagine there's going to be anything else coming from the sky because they are looking directly up. So that, I would imagine, is Iron Man returning. Now, there's an interesting shot, but we see Rocket Raccoon on Earth. And this absolutely it has to be Earth. I can't imagine it's going to be anywhere else. Why? Well, in the shot behind him, we see the ocean, we see the cliffs, but we also see lobster pots. Now, I know that this clearly... You know, it can be technology which the rest of the universe uses, but we have it. So I would imagine that this is a lobster pot uh, and he is by the ocean somewhere. But it is interesting to note the type of outfit that he is wearing now. Very difficult to make out because the quality of the trailer and the quick pace that it moves at is not the clearest. It looks white. Now this could be the Quantum Realm suits uh, that they use to kind of go back in time. That's probably what this is, but who knows, it could just be more comfy attire because he looks like he may have just retired by the sea. Like I say, could be completely wrong, but this looks like Earth. They are lobster pots in the background, so I would imagine he uh, he's just wearing maybe some comfy slacks, but maybe this is the uh, attire that they wear to the Quantum Realm. If it is, it doesn't really make much sense why he's wearing it here in what very much looks just like Earth. We see a great shot of Black Widow doing some target practice. Again, kind of a blink and you'll miss it moment. I'm sure a lot of people may have even thought that this was Pepper Potts at a certain point. But no, it is definitely Black Widow. She is doing all of her training. And then we see Ant-Man and War Machine suit up. Again, probably as the team is starting to assemble fully. We do see an interesting shot of Thor. There's not very clear where he is. Looks to be fire that he's looking at. So this could be... Wakanda, he could be doing something with the Stormbreaker axe. Who knows? It's not really clear. A lot of people have said that it's Wakanda, but it's just not clear at all where he is in this shot. He's looking very somber, probably reflecting on the fact that he should have aimed for the head. And then we cut to a great shot of what I would say is definitely Thor in Wakanda. And then we see Ronin, uh, or at least Hawkeye. Apparently we're going to be getting both of the personas in this movie. Where he is, absolutely no idea. In the background it looks like he could even be in the quantum realm here. Uh, it's really not clear where Hawkeye or Ronin is in this image. But again, the main reason why I say it could be the quantum realm is if you just take a look at the background you can see a lot of stuff kind of floating around. Now, unless this is a flashback to when he is experiencing the decimation, just like everyone else, I, I don't really see why there would all be this stuff floating in the background, plus the coloration as well. It's, it's not as psychedelic as the Quantum Realm, absolutely not, but it is as dark as the Quantum Realm has been shown to be at certain points in time. So, just take a look at it, see what you think. I would genuinely be keen to hear your thoughts on where he could be in this particular shot in the trailer. Uh, but again, he looks up as well, so maybe some things are going to be coming from the stars. And then we close with an absolutely epic shot of Captain America just harnessing up and belting up his Captain America shield to his wrist. Just again being ultra determined, ultra ready. And again, it sets that tone of the trailer. We have a great arc. We start really somber, and then we progress, we progress, we progress, and we end on that high note of, yes, we're ready. We are absolutely ready for war. And again, that carries through into the very next shot, which is the absolute last shot, where they are all walking towards what I would presume is a ship which Tony Stark came down in. And we can see them all there. We can see Captain America. We can see what looks to be... Thor, but again, very difficult to make out. It looks like it is Black Widow, Rocket Raccoon, Ant-Man, and then War Machine. That's what I can make out anyway. So what do you guys think about this? What do you think about this trailer? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Is there anything I pointed out that you may have noticed that you didn't notice? Let me know down below in the comment section. As always, if you are new here, hit subscribe, stay up to date on all the world of pop culture and movie news. As always, if you like this video, give it a like and a share. I've missed H. Take care.